Hello friends. On your request, I am here with my video on all day study timetable for class 10. Now since I had posted a video on how to study in class 12, the basics are going to remain same. So let's go in short. In the morning, wake up early, then go for short morning walk, study at least one hour before going to school and do not skip breakfast and have healthy diet. It will help you focus on your studies. After coming from school, take a short nap which should not be more than 35 minutes and try to finish your assignments by 6 pm and from 6 pm onwards spend at least 2 to 3 hours in self-study before sleeping. Now during night have proper dinner and then complete your 2 to 3 hours of study from 6 pm which you had started and then go to bed before sleeping ask yourself what did I study today it sounds odd but it will help you a lot it will keep you help you to keep a track on which way are you heading and then have a proper sleep of minimum 6 to 7 hours now the main part which subjects to study Frankly speaking, it seems so many subjects are there and mostly we get confused and nervous whether we'll be able to complete the syllabus or not. But have confidence and go slow and steady. First of all, be comfortable what you are studying. And as mentioned in my earlier videos, Try to mix the subjects. Now what I would suggest you is study for half an hour any one subject and take a break and then start another subject. For example, start if you start with science and take let's say physics. Study for half an hour and then you will be bored. Take 5 minutes break then go for any other subject such as history civics it's on your wish again after 30 minutes take a break and if you wish you can come back to physics which you are studying so it will help you stay energized and your studies will not get boring if you keep on changing your subjects every half an hour and changing your subjects doesn't mean taking it lightly. For the half an hour, you study very properly, whatever you are studying. And make proper notes. And maths, you should practice every day. Start with solving as many problems as you can every day. Let's say you give one hour for maths every day. And Make a target to solve at least 20 to 30 questions, numericals every day and increase your capacity. And maths I would suggest first go for the solved examples in the NCRT and after you complete all the solved examples, practice the exercise problems. History, my teacher used to say everything is story. So study history as a storybook. It has happened in past. Do not try to mug up. For me it was a big headache. Once my teacher said everything is story and it helped me a lot. I studied history as stories and most of the movies are also having these topics. So it was easier to understand. So during exam, just understand what had happened and write in your own words. And geography, first go for the maps. There are around 10 to 15 maps in geography. Have some extra uh, outline maps. Solve or plot each and every map separately on separate. <coughs> Sorry. 
plot on separate maps and later on use the same map for other topics like there are 10 maps so one by one you plot 10 maps and then take map number one and then plot the topics on map number two three four if possible all so it will be a good practice and will help you more all right that's all for this video if you have any queries do comment Thank you all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.